Okay, so they help you get around. They are all over downtown, and a lot of us would say well, they're pretty fun. But the Lime scooters that arrived in Little Rock back in January must also be taken seriously. If not, you can get really hurt. Tonight, THV 11's Melissa Zigiewicz looks into the city's scooter situation. Yeah, you know, there really was a lot of controversy surrounding these scooters when they randomly popped up on sidewalks one day because, well, they're everywhere. But for now, I'm told they're here to stay, so it's important to know the rules of the road. It's hard to go anywhere in downtown Little Rock without walking past a Lime scooter. They're mostly sitting outside of bars or restaurants. Dr. Aaron Willard at UAMS says this is a recipe for disaster. Sometimes people are intoxicated. Dr. Willard works inside the emergency room. We have been seeing them probably not as much as what we were expecting. She says from April until the end of September, the department has treated nine people involved in a Lime scooter accident. It ranges from things like just bruises and abrasions all the way up to broken bones. Well, we have responded to some. I wouldn't Say nothing significant. Eric Barnes with Little Rock Police says the department does not keep track of Lime scooter accidents. It's not considered as a motor vehicle. This means officers can only write up incident reports. Barnes was able to find at least four involving scooter crashes. This report showing an officer responding to a crash on 3rd Street on September 22nd around 6 p.m. The rider refused medical treatment. Another shows a rider fell off and hit her head in July and was transported to UAMS. We more or less try to encourage people to uh, ride on the sidewalk. And because scooters are not vehicles, officers cannot issue DUIs. If it comes to that level, you know, obviously we'll, there's public intox that can be considered. So what can you do if you are injured while riding a scooter? And better yet, what happens if someone riding one crashes into you? There's very clear language that says the user is 100% responsible. James Bartolome is a lawyer for Duncan Firm in Little Rock. So we've got uh, you know, dozens of, of, of clients that are uh, you know, with the various companies uh, that have been hurt by you know, scooter accidents. He currently represents about six people in Little Rock trying to sue Lime. The challenge is that it's such a new area of uh, transportation mode that most folks don't fully understand whether you know, they have a case. Bartolome says when you create a Lime account and sign the user agreement, you basically give up your rights. Most people don't know that. In that agreement, Lime states you agreed that you are solely responsible and liable for any damages, injuries, and attorney fees. It also says you certify you are familiar with the operation of the product and assume all responsibilities and risk for injuries. If you're a pedestrian and somebody hits you uh, using one of these scooters, they're not going to accept that claim. They're going to say you have to go after the individual. But Bartolome says the city still requires Lyme to carry at least $1 million per incident in insurance coverage. It's a very narrow way for a user who gets hurt using one of these to make a claim on that. He says you can really only make a claim if the scooter malfunctions. The brake fails or the accelerator gets stuck. Let's say you are riding a scooter, it breaks, and then you get hurt. Then you need to immediately stop, get out your phone, and report exactly what happened in the app. Since the burden's on you to prove what happened, you have to actually get the thing out of service to make sure that you know, they don't make any repairs. Bartolome says most of his clients are still going through the legal process. If you were to file suit today, you're most likely not going to you know, see a trial date, meaning go before a jury for at least 18 months or two years. So it may be a while before Little Rock sees its first case. You got to keep in mind this industry is only, you know, two years, literally two years old. Now we reached out to Lime for comment on this story. A spokesperson tells me the company also does not keep track of incidents here in Little Rock, but the safety of riders and the community is their number one priority. They also sent us safety tips. You can view all of that on our website on THV11.com. Reporting live from Little Rock, Melissa Zigowitz, THV11 News.